a very good morning students in today's class i'll be talking about the elements of a particular group and their properties in the modern periodic table in the modern periodic table i've taken the example of group 1 elements the group 1 elements are also known as the alkali metals talking about their atomic number lithium the atomic number is 3 sodium the atomic number is 11 and potassium the atomic number is 19 i am taking this topic only up to class 10th cbse talking about the electronic configuration on the basis of bohr you have k l m n shells the first shell maximum capacity becomes 2 the second shell the maximum capacity is 1 in this case because the total number of electrons is 3 talking about sodium the electronic configuration k shell 2 l shell 8 makes it 10 you are still left with one electron which goes to the next shell so the configuration is 2 8 potassium with 19 electrons 2 8 8 and 1 that becomes the configuration the shells are k l m and n Let us closely observe the properties and any variation or any similarity in the elements in a particular group. So, when we are moving down the group, what are we observing? The first thing that we observe is the outermost electrons remain the same. Therefore, valence electrons is equal to one, and it remains constant. Whereas, if I move on to the number of occupied shells, here you have two shells occupied. Sodium, you have three shells occupied. Potassium, you have four shells occupied. So the number of shells is increasing by one. Number of protons is also increasing rapidly. Three goes to eleven, goes to nineteen. and so is the number of electrons increasing rapidly when i talk about the size of the elements you can see you have lithium having two shells occupied sodium you having three shells occupied potassium you having four shells occupied therefore if you talk about the atom and this becomes the nucleus around the nucleus in lithium you have only two occupied shells in sodium you would have the third in potassium you would have the fourth so it's quite clear that the atomic radius is continuously increasing therefore the atomic radius is increasing if you go down the group the atomic radius is observed to increase now since the atomic radius is increasing the valence electron is moving farther away from the nucleus since the valence electron is moving farther away from the nucleus the force with which these electrons are held by the nucleus the next electrons held by the nucleus the last electrons held by the nucleus will automatically go on decreasing despite the fact that the protons are increasing so are the number of electrons but the electron which is farthest away from the nucleus i'm talking about the valence electron is moving away from the nucleus hence the attractive pull goes on decreasing if the attracted pull goes on decreasing therefore energy required to remove the electron which electron will we remove the valence electrons of course because that is the most loosely bound electron remove the outermost electron goes on decreasing therefore it is easy if the electron removal is easy hence loss of electrons on moving down the group becomes easy hence it becomes more metallic as you move down the group if the electron loss is easier then in that case it becomes more metallic there's another property which means which is called as electropositivity confusion about it electro means electrons 
Positivity means positive charge. How can an electron give you a positive charge? It can if the electron is lost. When you gain an electron, you achieve a negative charge. But when you are losing an electron, you gain a positive charge. That property of loss of electron is electropositive with it. And you can relate it to the metallic character also. So, if metallic character is increasing on moving down the group, so will electropositivity increase as you go down the group. Last is tendency to act as a reducing agent. What is a reducing agent? A reducing agent reduces others. What is reduction? Gain of electrons. So, if an element has to reduce the other element, the other element needs to gain electron and the element that you are talking about needs to give it. So, a reducing agent will be an element which has a tendency to lose electrons. Hence, loss of electrons in these elements as you go down the group is easier since they are more metallic and they are more electropositive. So, reducing agent property also increases. Therefore, if you know about metallic character, which is nothing but loss of electrons, then you also know about electropositivity and the reducing agent. So, talking about the elements, on moving down the group, let me give you a quick recap of the elements on or the properties as we move down the group. These are the elements of group 1, the alkali block mended, alkali group of elements, sodium, lithium and potassium. These are the atomic numbers and you can see the size is increasing. Valence electrons never change down the group. Number of shells always increase by 1. Protons and electrons increase rapidly but the atomic radii increases because the last shell electron is added to a new shell. So you are moving away from the nucleus. So the attractive pull goes on decreasing. Since the attraction is less, automatically the size will increase. Energy needed to remove the outermost electron will also decrease because the electron is moving away from the binding of the nucleus. So the energy required to pull it out, that is to overcome the attractive pull, becomes less because the attraction itself is decreasing. Hence, it becomes easier to lose electrons. Loss of electron is also called as metallic character. So, down the group, metallic character also increases. Metallic character, electropositivity and reducing agent are all the same. Hence, if you are moving down the group, metallic character increases, electropositivity increases, reducing agent increases. I hope if I ask you the reverse order, that is, if I talk about non-metallic character down the group, you can very well say that no, if the metallic character is increasing down the group, the non-metallic character would decrease. Decreases down the group. So, electronegativity also decreases down the group and reducing agent also decreases down the group. Hence, you have the oxidizing agent property would increase down the group and electropositivity would increase down the group. So, electronegativity will decrease down the group. So, they are reverse properties. Whatever is true for the metallic character holds true for electropositivity and the reducing agent. Whatever is true for the non-metallic character holds true for electronegativity and oxidizing agent. So, down the group, if non-metallic character is decreasing, Electronegativity will also decrease and oxidize tendency of an element to act as an oxidizing agent will also decrease. But for the first group of elements, since they are metals, we don't talk about their non-metallic character or the electronegativity or the oxidizing agent because these elements are metallic. So they would have a tendency of electropositivity and also we call it as the reducing agent. There is one more property which we are left with is we very well know that metals react with oxygen to form a metal oxide and a metal oxide is basic in nature. If a metal oxide is basic in nature which we already know so what we can say is on moving down the group Metallic character is increasing, therefore basicity or the basic character of oxides 
increases. On moving down the group. Since the metallic character is increasing, therefore the basic character of the oxides of these elements will also go on increasing. Hence, in your group 1, most basic oxide Since I have taken only three examples, lithium, sodium and potassium and we are referring to class 10th only, the basic character of potassium oxide would be the maximum. With this, I conclude the class on variation of properties in a group in the modern periodic table. Thank you.